Ross is back with another creepy reading, and I should have just put my foot in my mouth for this moment and shut up, because this is the most stupidest thing I've ever done. I was going to do from Monday to, well, to the 30th, I was going to read Killer Pastas, you know, based off of Jeff the Killer knockoff, you know, those types, but there are so many of them, and most of them are in the crappy pastas, so... The sad part is, I'm going to have to, I'm going to start off with the most, what the F did I just even look at of the title? I haven't even read this. Just the title was like, oh, what kind of drugs am I taking? We are going to be talking about Jeff the Killer versus Pinkie Pie. And before anyone says... Yes, the Pinkie Pie from My Little Ponies. I guess somebody wanted to make a crossover story, which doesn't make sense because in the My Little Pony universe, I know there's no humans in there, so this is questioning logic, and this is based on the story of cupcakes. Let's begin <laughs> the stupidity. In a town known as Ponyville, there lived a sweet earth pony called Pinkie Pie. Um, if we're using the cupcakes variation, wouldn't be she a little bit cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo? She seemed to be nice in appearance and character. A little too closey to you. But inside, she sickly was a mass murderer. Yep, we're going to cupcakes! Who cut up other ponies and baked them into cupcakes. Yep, we are going with cupcakes, oh, for Lord's sakes. So is this play taking place? I don't know if you noticed, but a lot of the characters went missing in the TV show. No, they haven't! I haven't watched the newest season, but even I know they haven't gone missing! For example, do you remember Gildia the Griffin? I have no bloody... I remember who that is, but I don't think they brought her back again. Do you remember that she came to have a party? Do you notice that when she left, you never seen her again in the series? I don't know, I haven't seen any of the newer seasons. And yes, I will admit, I watched some My Little Ponies with my nephew. The reason why was because before she flew away, she got captured by Pinkie Pie. Okay, even I'm gonna call bullshit on that one. Pinkie Pie still has her skull in her basement. They can't even spell skull right. Who knows when she will strike next? Well, didn't she kill Rainbow Dash next? Later that night, who, who was once a 13-year-old boy, at least they get the age right, now a cold-blooded psychopath, Jeff the Killer had emerged from the, the tree of the night. So they're just pulling something out of nowhere for how a human get into the world of ponies. That's the most stupidest thing I've heard. They could have just used the mirror joke, but I don't know. He noticed the town ahead and stopped, look, stopped looked, getting confused. What the hell is I doing in a tree? Jeff recognized the town in an instant. Jeff watched My Little Pony? I had a reason. I was watching kids. What's his? Was he dreaming or hallucinating? I shouldn't have took those damn mushrooms. This is what I get for living in the forest wanting to kill people. I have to eat what I can find. Because what he saw before his eyes, he could see the town known as Ponyville from My Little Pony right in front of him. God dang, I really gotta lay off the mushrooms! <laughs> Throughout them for a moment, maybe he got here somehow by magic. Yeah, the magic of mushrooms. <laughs> he didn't care. He was getting the feeling again. Oh my god, I, sh I gotta use the bathroom! Either that or go psychotic again. One of the two. So he thought he would wait for one of the ponies to come out. Um, to come out light until they could see him. Come out light? What? What, they're not carrying anything? It just says, come out light. He waited for some time until one pony started walking in his direction. And the first thing they were questioning is, what the hell is that thing? He was orange with a yellow mane. I have no clue who this is. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, I don't know ponies. Jeff soon noticed to come, uh, came to notice that it was Applejack from the series. 
Okay, I'm pretty sure a lot of people who liked Applejack would be pissed off knowing that she's next to die. She was heading towards him, Jeff looked behind him, and saw there was a load of apple trees behind him. So I came out of an apple tree? Should we call Jeffy Appleseed? Jeff got up, and where she was, about four meters, she stopped because she could see Jeff's white hoodie. And not question what the hell is the thing. Because I'm pretty sure they don't know what humans are. She stepped back. Don't be afraid. I just want to help you get to sleep, said Jeff. And not questioning why is, early, why is he talking to a pony. He then walked slowly towards her until Applejack could make out his face. You are one ugly individual, whoever the hell you are. She screamed and the other ponies heard her. Really, I thought, really, from what I've seen with my nephew, I thought Applejack was more of a tough one. She would have more likely questioned the logic, and then if you pulled out a knife, she would have kicked him. Jeff jumped onto her and held her down to the ground. Shh, go to sleep, talking, screaming horse. Jeff raised his knife and stabbed it where the heart was. He knows the anatomy of a horse? Applejack passed away. And with that, all the fan base is going to kill whoever wrote the story for that one. The other ponies started to panic and not try to ram them, use magic or whatever. Pinkie Pie stepped forward. I'll just see why she is screaming. Pinkie walked out of the darkness. Is this daylight or nighttime? I'm confused. And then she jumped on him. Uh, like most Pinky, from what I've seen. Pinkie Pie looked up and saw Jeff's face. She screamed as well and ran with Jeff on her back into the light. Wait, what? So she saw the, the creepiness of his face, screamed, and ran with Jeff on her, and carried him on her back and ran off. The other pony saw the monster on Pinky's back. Please tell me there's somewhere out there there is not a fan art of Jeff the Keller riding on Pinkie Pie because if there is, I don't have any respect for the guy anyway. I'm for that made up killer, so I don't give a flying F. And they all ran and hid Pinkie Pie rolled over and Jeff fell, pinning Pinkie's back. I mean, fell off Pinkie Pie back. Spell check! You can't even spell Pinkie! <laughs> Then Pinkie Pie grabbed the ladder and knocked Jeff unconscious. What do you mean? Okay, so they ran, she they she thrown him and then backed him up the ladder. What the hell am I reading? I wish I was just some hot I wish I was high reading this. Or drunk. Jeff woke up in a dark room and found himself pinned down to a table. Shit, I got caught. Yeah, because it's kinda sad. All the humans can't capture this guy, but a pony captures him. Story of Jeff's life. Jeff looked around the room and saw Pinkie Pie. Well, you will do just fine for my new flavor of cupcake. Human flavor. Okay, this is foreign because, um, this is from Europe or somewhere because I just noticed that the word flavor is spelled with a U. And also, how would Pinkie know what a human is? So, the last episode was true on creepy pasta. Wink, 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 wink. You do turn your friends into cupcakes. Pinky naughty. Yep. And you're my next flavor because you're the first human to come to this land. How do you know what it's a human? And also, I'm, I'm f this. Just keep reading. Just keep reading. Jeff got angry. Human? I'm no human. Then what the hell would you call you? More. Okay, yeah, I'll call you what you are. A figment of a stupid writer's imagination. Okay, I'll take that back now, stupid. A figment of a writer's imagination who somehow is given OP powers. Jeff tried to break the cuff by pushing his arm against it, not knowing that he's cutting his wrist, bleeding to death. I wish. A loud groan came from the metal of the cuffs, and soon one of them snapped off. Oh, come on, which one? Really? He's still a human. He can't do that unless the cuffs are really restrained. Jeff reached for the other one. I don't think so. Yelled Pinkie Pie. She grabbed a meat cleaver. Okay.
Okay, I need to question the logic. How does a pony hold a meat cleaver? Because I have hooves, so it's like... Okay. Just wondering. Just missed his ear. Next time you're going to give me a haircut, try to give me a full buzz cut. I'm tired of looking like I just stick my head in a washer. Jeff's foot got free and he kicked Pinkie Pie across the room. Jeff pulled at the cuffs on his hand with all of his strength and soon the cuffs snapped off his hand while at the same time breaking his fingers. Pinkie Pie grabbed the handsaw and swung it at Jeff. Why would you swing a handsaw? Wouldn't you use the meat cleaver? She then realized she missed completely and hit the cuff on his other foot. You gotta be bloody kidding me. How did she... Even I'm calling the bull crap of how she missed the other cuff. Jeff was free. Jeff pulled out his knife for, out of his pocket. Wouldn't she disarm the guy? Usually in the situations, the hostage situations, she would literally, I meant in this situation as holding him hostage, she would have disarmed the guy. But nope. The plot says she forgets. Now you can feel what I feel all the time. Pain. Yes, pain. My head hurts. <laughs> Just reading this, my head hurts. Jeff walked slowly towards Pinkie Pie. Pinkie Pie wasn't done yet. She grabbed a hammer and swung it at Jeff. How is she picking stuff up? With poofs. She hit him on the side and broke his rib. No one can kill me! Not even you! Yes, it's the writer who decides who kills Jeff! I am sorry. Jeff got up, grabbed Pinkie Pie, and threw her towards the stairs. He can't even spell... Like, is that how you spell throw in Europe? I don't know. He grabbed her by the hair and dragged her up the steps, down the hall, out the front door, to where people were questioning, what the hell is that, and why is it grabbing Pinkie Pie? Stop him! He threw her out the front door as she hit the ground with a thud. Pinky looked around. She could see all of her friends watching. All one of them, I think. I really don't... I never read Cupcakes. I just got the gist of what the hell's going on. I don't know how many of the six survivors are left. Since right now I know Rainbow's dead and Applejack's dead. So you have been hiding what you're doing all this time and no one knew, Jeff yelled. So basically, you're just great. He's just there just to scream. Pink is a killer as much as I am! Oh my lord. And that what you did to all the visitors on Rainbow Dash. I just hate it! Oh yeah, he somehow managed to read the creepy pasta cupcakes. What the fuck? Tell them why the ponies have been disappeared. Disappeared? Were you trying to spell disappear? Pinkie Pie ran, Jeff followed Jeff. What the? Pinkie Pie ran, Jeff followed Jeff, was catching up fast and soon. Call us people! Call us! I may not be that much of a grammar Nazi, but Lord, do something! He grabbed her by the tail and swung her towards a tree. Wow, Jeff is so strong, you can pick up a pony and throw it. Maybe the rider's just giving him OP powers. He held her down, and she looked up at him. So, you're going to ruin everything, she said solidly. Sorry, I'm not going to twist the emotions. But, Jeff stared down at her for what it seemed like an attorney as the other ponies watched. And not try to kill Jeff, when he could just be just pulling, shooting air up everyone's ass. But, nope, they're all going to look. Then Jeff finally spoke. Shh, you go to sleep. He sliced her throat as she choked to death and died. Well, at least we know which side the writer was supporting. Jeff stood up and looked at the others. I may be a killer, but she's worse! Hey, you kill people in your sleep! That's evil. This is, oh, my lord, never mind. I don't know who's worse. It's, I'm comparing the two, and it, they're both in a wink. In, this, in that creepy story lies. I don't know if you noticed, but Rainbow Dash is gone because of her. Only because I read the creepy story and I'm somehow with this creepy pasta story. The other pony stared at him. Then the one with the yellow pink mane stepped forward. How do we know 
You're just lying so you, we can feel bad about her. I just stated the obvious! Even Fluttershy admits the fact that he could just be shooting air up all their asses! Jeff pointed his knife at Pinky's front door. Go in her basement and tell me if I'm wrong! Why should we listen to you? You just killed a poet, or you just killed a member of society! They did. She saw and they saw things she done. They saw the school of their friend and they were shocked. All the cupcakes they were eating that Pinkie Pie made of the organs of their friends and they found Rainbow Dash all sewn up in the corner. Is this supposed to be a sequel to cupcakes? I feel like I want to drink. And they saw the dress made of cutie marks of their friends. Jeff put his knife in his pocket and walked away in a distance never to be seen again. What the hell did I just stupidly read? This is the most stupid story. This is a fan fiction and whoever wrote it was in favor of Jeff. They must, have, they must have been a fan of My Little Pony, didn't like the story Cupcakes, and decided to make this story. So, and since they're also a fan of Jeff the Killer, put Jeff in as the hero position to kill Pinkie Pie. And at the same time, killing Applejack. So I'm thinking, I guess that writer also hated Applejack. Oh my lord, this was a stupid... Yeah, Cupcakes was creepy and all, but... God damn. This is what happens when you're just wanting to do reading of stories of the killer. This ain't the worst thing Jeff will fight. I'm serious. This is not the worst. I'm giving this a Chef Boy or D rating for how stupid it is. Because it is nothing more than just fan fiction and the writer was already picking sides already based on how it was going. Till then, Rasa is signing out and I'm going to go get some alcohol.